Good afternoon. I'm Whitney from Facebook. Um, here, I'm here on behalf of OCP OI subgroup um, to give an overview about our open accelerator infrastructure project. So recent years, the exponential growth of AI, machine learning, deep learning, and high performance computing are really driving the amount of new different accelerator coming out. Um, among of these uh, uh, accelerators, we are already familiar with some of them like a GPU, FPGA, or even T TPU. Um, however, there are many new different accelerators coming out like LMP, IPU, MPU, or XPU, you name it. Um, the question is, how do we deal with the new accelerators? To answer the question, let's take a look what we have been doing. So on the left side, you see um, typically when the accelerator coming out, they are being implemented into a physical form factor, um, either like PCIe CAM form factor or um, proprietary module, and then being implemented into our system. On the right side, you see we created many different accelerator systems. And then even with the same CAM form factor or GPU card, right, we created different systems. All of these different implementations are targeting similar requirements. So back to my question, are we gonna design different systems for that so many different accelerators? Our answer is absolutely no. Um, our proposal is we build an open accelerator infrastructure to leverage our resources to work together and um, increase the interoperability and innovation. So we started with the project OAM. Um, you probably already um, heard it many times, like OCP accelerator module. And in this module, we build a common form factor mezzanine module for the upcoming accelerators. I'm not going through the details of the spec. We already contributed the spec uh, to OCP community um, during the global summit earlier this year. And at the same time, we formed the OAI subgroup under um, OCP server project. Um, this group would like to build the infrastructure for the upcoming products that meet OAM spec. Um, our scope is really to define the physical and logical aspects, such as um, electrical, mechanical, thermal um, management, security, hardware security, and uh, serviceability to build the environment, to build the infrastructure uh, for the upcoming products. So if we take an explosion view of a typical disaggregated accelerator system, right? Uh, we put, for example, we put eight OM together. We need to define what? The carrier, the carrier board, and uh, the power distribution path, the host interface, um, the security, control management interface, and then we also define the IOs and also define the expansion to scale out. Thermally, we also need to cover the cooling solution for the system. And uh, mechanically, we build the tray and chassis. And then we put all of them together. Uh, here comes our OAI projects. So these are the nice schedules, spec chapters we're going to cover by this project. Our first schedule is the OAM. We already contributed spec um, 0.85 earlier um, in March, and then we update the spec to 1.0 um, at end of July. And then at the same time, we have been working with the different accelerator suppliers to enable the OAM solutions. Um, in March, Intel already shared the Nirvana um, LMP-based OAM. And uh, in June, um, Habana launched the Gaudi, the training processor Gaudi OEM. And today, I'm really happy um, to announce that AMD and NVIDIA enabled the product concept OEMs. Um, I actually have the real hardware to show here. I was told this is a working sample, so I need to be really careful. Um, this is the module from AMD. And uh, from NVIDIA, this is a product concept based on Volta 100.
So the second schedule um, in our group is walking to the universal baseball. Early this morning, already um, see the baseball um, handled by Bill. And uh, this baseball is going to support both 19 inch and 21 inch rack. And then we support both 54 volt and 12 volt. And then we built different UBB SKUs to cover different interconnect topologies. Um, we also have the uh, QSABDD connectors to cover the scale out. I'm not going through the details of the design. Uh, we have a UBB workshop tomorrow to talk about the details of the design and how the universal baseboard gonna help us, help the com community. Appreciate to um, the four system provider volunteers, um, Inspur, Hive Design Solution, ZT Systems, and, and Imantech. Um, at the same time, we work together to build the OAM reference systems. And then these systems are using the interchangeable u universal baseboard, and then they actually share the common tray. We also have a workshop tomorrow to talk about the detailed system design, what are the challenges, and then how we deal with the problem. I'd like to start a little bit history and timeline about our OAM and OAI. So the product concept um, coming from Facebook, end of 17. Um, so we think about the problem and we uh, initialized the OAM concept and then formed the point one spec. And then by end of Q3, we start to in engage with community, and then we worked with a Microsoft and a Baidu together to define the, the, the spec. And then earlier this year, we contributed the spec and formed the OCP subgroup. So here is what we're doing like a, around the year. Um, there are a lot of happening. We have enabled four different OAM from the big um, accelerator suppliers all the way to the startups. And then we also formed uh, the group to build the UBB and the reference systems. Like I mentioned, um, so Facebook, Microsoft, and Baidu um, start, the, the, start the OM work, and now we are leading the OI subgroup together. And then these are the companies that are supporting this spec. So compared with the uh, the, the companies um, we shared earlier this year, this year during the uh, global summit, the number of companies increased uh, 47%. And then I'd like to um, really thank you these companies and in, in the OAI joint development group, um, we really worked really, ha uh, really hard together to define the spec and then to start, like, to start to form and align the spec to contribute the community and then the way how we work together um, is the way how we produce and then make it the work more efficient. So please come to our experience lab and we have the uh, product concept and then the reference systems and also the um, accelerator modules to show in our experience lab in the upstairs. Um, come to visit us. So here the workshop tomorrow. Um, so except for the overview, the universal baseball reference system I mentioned earlier, we also have a workshop talking about the system management, security, and also the control on the OAI. Um, and then cooling. Uh, cooling is um, a big topic for the OAM. Um, if you are familiar about our OAM spec, um, OAM actually can support up to 700 watt. Um, and, uh, we have uh, some study about the liquid cool solution, and uh, we actually have a reference system demoed by Inspur um, in the booth. Um, we have a liquid, liquid cool solution um, coming out as well. Uh, we're going to talk about this tomorrow. Um, please join us. And then we also have a panel discussion. We invited uh, different OEM su um, suppliers and then join us together. Come to join us and then to ask questions. Thank you.